if you can see this or not. See how much that bent. And the reason for that is the only thing supporting all of this is just the bottom of that angle iron. It bent right in here. So I looked underneath. I can't really support it from underneath because you got your axle and your leaf spring. So if I put some across, the uh, axle's gonna hit it when you hit bumps. So I can't really do that. So right here, when I do jack that back up and try to straighten this out as level Another as possible. Another thing, when that L bracket is in, it's gonna be relying on this to support it. And there's no welds. None besides until you get up here. Check the underside here. It's stitched very good on the underside, but there's nothing on the outside. And that's gonna be a lot of pressure pulling. I don't want this to separate, so I might run a few stitches right here just three stitches for more support here because yeah if something's welded on one side not the other no matter how much it's welded over here this could still separate it especially if you got pulling strength coming from somewhere else this rain has been kicking my ass all day but uh yeah this whole piece was arched right here this whole trailer i got it jacked up here I'm gonna have to, uh, they cut a piece out because they want to run quads up here, but uh, there's like no support down in here. So, yeah, this whole frame here bent right at the axle. So, you can see how much further it has to come yet. So, I'm gonna tack this in place. I weld it pretty good. <clears throat> Draw this in, weld it, and then I'm gonna run braces on the inside here. And then we'll cut that section out. Alright, we got both sides welded up here. And this is this side here. See if we can get a good look there. There we go. This is the bottom side. Inside. The focus is for me. So that's all welded back on. And we're gonna cut this here, and we're gonna put a brace in. All right, cut this edge off, because it's gonna be pulling in four wheelers, so you don't wanna get it flat. All right, got that angle iron back together, because I cut the weld. This is the brace that's going in. And I wanted to make sure that it was crossing over the channel frame and the top frame. And join them together and then I'm gonna run a stitch weld here and here keep that together. you can see where it's kind of wants to separate right here even though it's welded underneath so it'll be all solid when it's done we got the fender back on brace on here Put my initials so you know who did it. There's stitch welds. Size welded on real good. And now we're gonna shove some wood in between there, try to bend that out off here and over here so you don't get a flat pulling it in. There it is around the bottom. Over here. That's the brace, crosses over both frames. Stitch weld, stitch weld. It's all welded up in here. And look over here. This is welded. There. There. Fender. All the way down. It's joined right there. And this fender. Now when you stand on the back of the trailer, 
It's solid, it doesn't bend at the axle. So, we're good. Got a little pinch here. I'm gonna cut that off and tack it. There's the pinch part of the fender. Repaired. And that's the best it's gonna get. Pretty good.